Hey Clashers, a blimp designed for success. This Super Archer blimp is getting incredible value. The Lalo for the strategy is pretty much only the cleanup. And we're going to take a look at this strategy today in Legends, where we're going to attack a variety of different type of bases to see how this blimp actually works because there is a lot of strategies out there which are working only versus specific bases which a legend is not really working right like this is not how legend works you need to have a um, variety of being able to attack this variety of, of different bases right and this blimp is awesome we're going to take a look at the attacks of a loser i'm up from my clan who's actually quite high um in legends this like one week ago um his profile and he attacked for example boom in this video so a couple of the the highest people out there in legends so let's take a look at the different type of bases different styles of bases and how he's actually utilizing this blimp to get as much success as possible this is like the overall um idea and we're starting things off with box bases box bases are attacked similar to how you attack with blizzard but there's one twist to it with the super archers you actually do not need to get that close to the town hall that's like really important so you can see he has wall breakers within the clan cast and it's really important the most important thing about this blimp is to take a look and learn from his placements because what he does is he places the blimp lets the blimp open has one invisibility spell there and he's going to wait this entire first invisible invisibility spell without dropping any other supportive spells why is he doing that well he wants to make sure that first the wall breakers and second the goblin are dead they're getting taken care of the defenses because you want to clone the sneaky archers or the super archers right like you do not want to clone the goblin or the wall breakers so what he does is waste the first invisibility spell then double clone and then the rage with keep keeping them invisible for an eternity you can see how much value he gets at the same time though you might think now okay that might be not enough value overall to lalo well actually what he said as well is you don't even need to be the best lalo taker like the lalo you can see is pretty much spam and pray if you can't even spam lalo i mean you can clearly you, you clearly can spam lalo like you do not need to have the craziest lalo with this strategy which is so cool about this because i know a lot of people out there are looking for strategies maybe who are slowly getting them into the strategies of lalo and making them learn and think how those lalo takes work and this strategy for sure can be one of those strategies because well your lalo does not need to be the best but at the same time you get a feeling how strong or how not strong your your um, loons are especially without spells because he is not using a single spell for his loons which is incredible this is actually incredible but at the same time still it's going to be enough to clear out this base and well that's the that's the interesting thing right this is the thing we are looking for against those bases and that's exactly how he's approaching those box bases always and with that nice and easy face start but since we have like a check mark now around the box bases let's dive into the next base which is going to be one of the bases where this this strategy is shining which is ring bases oh my gosh and he's actually attacking boom like i mean you should you should know boom right like he's right now top three legends incredible incredible performance uh, performances from him the last couple of seasons and Aloza is attacking him so let's take a look at how he's doing because this uh, this base from boom you can clearly see that overall this base is designed as well in the core to defend blizzard because he has actually both bomb towers inside the core of this base so super wizards are not going to have any fun the great thing about super archers or actually the two great things about super archers is first of all well they have a higher range so he's just going to deploy them on the first wall again it's waiting the first invisibility spell then cloning to the core and then using the rage and keeping them invisible but the next cool thing is as well that you can actually blimp on top of a bomb tower because your super archers are going to have too many hit points so your bomb tower is not going to take them out that's pretty cool that's pretty cool so you're getting really a lot of value because sometimes people really are just expecting that you cannot blimp there because the bomb tower is protecting the base from that angle with sneaky archers or super archers you just don't care and in this on this base you can see already 
this base is done. <laughs> like, there is no base left. Like, there is... One of the scatter... It's actually... No, one of the scatter is taken care of. The Royal Champion is pretty much dead. Um, and at this point, he's just going to send this hero... His hero is one side. And his Lalo then from the other side. That's kind of crazy. That's really crazy. So, if you have any problems on raiding bases... Be afraid to play this strategy. I obviously put the link down below in the comments. But... This strategy is actually truly insane if you can master it. Like, it is a kind of like a not super meta strategy, which makes this even more fun because it's not likely to be baited that much. Um, so it's even more fun to play it because you can have different routes, different angles than a regular Super Wizard Blimp. And that was obviously showcased in this one. So here is around the top side, I'm clearing out a lot already. And at this point, again, there is not that much base life, but again, there's no spells left. And that's obviously like always a big deal with this strategy. You can see again, but he has a big forest group of loons. And then he's just for the back and keeps sprinkling some more loons in. But at the end of the day, he's just going to overpower those defenses. Yes, a lot of loons are going to fall versus the scatter. But at the same time, guys, I mean, there's so many loons left. And that's like then the important thing. But still, as I said... You do not need to be the last best Lalo attacker. That's not necessary for this strategy, which is the cool thing. You need to more concentrate on really the value of the blimp. This is the more important uh, part of this uh, of this attack. And I think we should take a look at one more attack, one more style of base, which is ring base, box base. What's the most common one otherwise? Exactly. That are uh, diamond bases, teaser bases, this style of base. Um which we need to take a look at as well. So let's dive in there and take a look at how he's approaching those. So you can see the classic setup. We have the anti-smash walls around the town hall. We have the singer front tower behind the town hall. So pretty much overall a classic base, which you have probably seen like from the style already plenty of times. So what he's what is he doing? Well, he's actually going to blimp behind the town hall. And again, you might think, okay, he just got baited. He falls short, he did not get the value he wants. But always remember, he can clone into the direction he wants to go. That's really important. In addition to that, try to make sure that the clan castle troops are... Turn them invisible. That, that's what I've tried to say. Because if you do not turn them invisible, a lava hound or something is really annoying. Because yes, they do somewhat of splash damage, but not the same type of splash damage as like super wizards, for example. So that's really important to note, that you have to be careful about that. Like... A Lava Hound, which is going to explode in every single direction, is going to spawn, um, I don't know, like, it's going to spawn, um, Lava Pups. This, this is going to get tricky, guys. This is going to get really tricky then, um, because it's not the same splash as Super, which is, as I said. But now, again, sending his heroes on one side, and he's going to do the battle on the other side. The reason for this is otherwise you're going to get a lot of time fails. So it's really important that you are able to do the Lalo... At the same time, as you're setting in your heroes. Which shouldn't be the, the hardest thing to do, because overall, it's pretty chill. Like, you don't need to consider anything specific. You most of the time have the auto abilities anyway. And most of the time, the town or the clan castle is already lured or taken care of and taken out already. So that's, like, the nice thing. You can see now, Lalo on the left side. He was on the right side again at the same time, making sure that he's getting a lot of value out of all of this. And then... He's just having this one big thing left, which is the Warden ability. No other spells left. That's pretty much it. He's not even running a poison, which I find sometimes feel like it's, semi, it's like really ballsy. But I feel he's making this work pretty good. Like, he's always consistent, pretty high on Legends. Um, I would consider that at least pretty high for the majority of people. Like, So, he's doing pretty good overall. You can see again... There's not much space left. There's not much space left. Royal Chamber is still there. You still can use the loons for the back end, for the wizard tower, for example. The arch tower already get targeted. And again, this is like the important thing. You need to have a main push of loons. Yes, that's what he does. But at the same time, so you need to save like six to maybe eight loons, maybe more like six loons for the back end to make sure that you're able to reinforce your troops, reinforce your loon groups. And with that again, we have a huge overkill on our hands. This base had no chance whatsoever. You can see how many loons there still are. And that's in another thing which he does. Bring a ton of loons. And he's not preferring the um, the hound whatsoever. He's really preferring those loons. 
So guys, if you want to try it out, again, that's uh, the strategy. I will put the link down below in the comments. So if you want to check it out, uh, feel free to do so. Let me know how it works for you guys. Uh, because for him, it's working incredible. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys back tomorrow for the next video. Until then, see ya and bye-bye.